Hello, this is uh, Mac from jlptbootcamp.com and today I'm going to show you how to set up uh, this lovely Microsoft IME uh, language toolbar so you can have your very own on your uh, Windows 7 or uh, Vista or Windows XP system. Um, it's very simple, it's very easy to set up. Uh, we're just going to walk through how to basically do that here. So first if you're in uh, Windows 7 or Vista, uh, in Windows XP it's going to be a little bit different but pretty much um, same kind of thing. Uh, but first you're going to go into Control Panel and uh, from Control Panel you can um, hit the Change uh, Keyboards or Other Input Methods here under Clock Language Region. Uh, that'll bring up another menu here, and this is where you can kind of change uh, formats and locations um, um, here to change the different uh, languages. Uh, kind of a cool feature here is that you can actually change the display language of all of Windows here um, into Japanese if you'd like, um, and then that would uh, change all the menus, everything into Japanese, so if you want to practice Japanese, uh, that's kind of a really um, immersive way to do that. <laughs> um, you can switch that there. Uh, but today we're going to go to change uh, keyboards because we want to add a Japanese keyboard. Um, now I have a physical Japanese um, keyboard so it's already um, installed. When I installed Windows uh, it just put that already in there uh, for me. But if you don't have this, probably if you're from the United States, uh, you'll have English United States or you'll have English, um, you know, wherever you happen to be from. Um, here, kind of keyboard. So you're going to have to add a language. So you can go over here, hit the Add button, um, and then go down to Japanese. And you want the Microsoft IME uh, keyboard. This is probably the best. There is this Japanese keyboard. This isn't very actually all that useful. Um, it just basically allows you to use the Japanese keyboard to type in Romaji. But this Microsoft IME actually um, performs the magic of uh, turning Romaji into Kana and Kana into Kanji. So you you want that feature. And of course, uh, if you don't have a physical Japanese keyboard, you'd hit the, the OK button here, which uh, I don't have because I already have it installed. Um, so I have to cancel out. And then you, you'll have a lovely uh, Japanese keyboard here. Uh, then go ahead and hit OK. And um, oh, I should show you one last thing before we leave there. Um, up here, this is the default input language. So if you wanted to, you could select the Japanese uh, Microsoft IME as the default uh, input language. And then that way, when Windows booted up, it would default to this, to the Japanese uh, IME. And with this Microsoft IME, you can input in alphanumeric, which is basically Romaji, basically English, um, with this uh, keyboard system. So um, if you wanted to, you could just keep with the Japanese Microsoft IME uh, setup. What's going to be funky is um, I think what might happen is if you uh, type, w try to type some um, other characters, uh, they'll be in different places on the keyboard. Because a Japanese keyboard, the um, quotation marks and pretty much all the uh, punctuation marks are in different places so y you might run into some trouble if you uh, default to the just to this Japanese keyboard to type in English so uh, but anyway uh, you can make that choice if you'd like you can change it there go ahead and hit OK and then hit OK again it'll probably ask you to log off and log back in to affect the changes so this toolbar will show up for you um, I've already gotten ins got it installed, so I don't need to do that. So I'm just going to hit cancel here uh, and cancel out. 
And then you have a lovely IME uh, toolbar. Um, if you have a Japanese keyboard, uh, there is a key on the keyboard up to the upper left, uh, to the left of the number one key, which will switch this between the alphanumeric and uh, Japanese input mode. So for example, uh, we can type, oops, uh, hello in uh, alphanumeric, and then switch over and type uh, konnichiwa uh, in kana with that. Now, if you don't have a Japanese keyboard, which is probably uh, a lot of folks, you can actually change um, this by hitting Alt and then tilde, which is the key that is just to the left of the number one key on an English keyboard. If you do that, then it'll do the exact same thing. It'll switch between alphanumeric and uh, hiragana katakana. Um, if you want to switch between uh, languages, you can hit Alt Shift and that'll switch between English and uh, Japanese. So if you what you wanted to do, you could set this to uh, hiragana katakana input mode um, down there. And then uh, if you if you want to switch between English and Japanese um, very quickly, if you're typing um, you know you're typing a document that has some English and some Japanese, you can just go down and hit uh, Alt Shift to switch between the two when you when you need to to switch. Um, one last thing before I go, uh, how to type, how to change over into kanji. First, first off, you're going to type in romaji. So until you uh, make a kana, a kana character, it's going to be in romaji. So the minute you make it something that can be a kana character, it will change over. So um, for example, let's say ni, chi, so even ch isn't going to do it. But notice ti can be chi. Either way, it'll make the same kana. And, uh, you know, it's, it, it, it'll make chi. Um, once you've typed that in, you, you'll notice this uh, dotted line underneath the kana. And if you hit spacebar, uh, that's when it'll switch over into kanji. Now, if there's multiple um, options, you can hit spacebar, and it'll give you all of the kanji that it could possibly be. Uh, and it'll, you can you can select down through all of the uh, different options, and you'll notice that there's little notes here, usage notes that can help um, you choose which uh, kanji you want. It'll g give you some notes here. This is what uh, this kanji is used for, blah, 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 for um, some kanji that's uh, not used so often. Um, so that's kind of a cool feature if you can, of course, uh, read the Japanese. Um, so that's about it for how to use Microsoft IME to type in Japanese and English. Um, for full some full details, including some pictures and um, a full blog post about this, come visit me at jlptbootcamp.com. Um, until then, uh, happy studying.